Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today I'm going to be showing you how to hygienically set up a tattoo workstation and to also break it down. Now this is going to protect you, it's going to protect your client and it's going to protect your reputation. So with all that said guys, let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. Okay, so we start by moving any jewellery and a nice wash of the hands with some anti-back soap. Once they're scrubbed, they're dried. And then we're gonna finish that off with some sanitizing gel. Just because you can never be too clean. Got to scrub the fingers there, then moving on, we're gonna put some gloves on. I use nitrile gloves um, over latex gloves just because some people tend to have allergies to latex. You don't want anyone having a reaction on the skin. Okay, so here's the um, tattoo workstation. It's a Tatsol workstation. I'm using Black Widow uh, cover bags here. Some people just use standard food bags, um, but I find the, the purpose-made ones are a little bit thicker, better quality. So that's just covering the power pack there. And you can see I've got the cables actually wrapped around the back of the power pack so they don't trail across the actual workstation. Um, we've just got some cling film here. And we're just going to cover the entire surface of the workstation. I'm going to have two layers on there, as you can see. And then that back layer is going to get tucked right down there. Just so there's no exposed workstation. And it's all nicely covered. Next, a uh, wash bottle. And again, I use Black Widow bags for this. I'm just popping it in there. That's going to keep the bottom of it covered. And then one over the top there. That's set to one side. I've got green soap in there if anyone wants to know what that is. So this next bit is the obviously the, the tattoo machine. And you'd notice I've removed the um, grip. Now if you haven't got an autoclave machine, you can still use these and you can use disposable grips. So you basically throw the grip away after um, you've done the tattoo. And this is what they look like. They come in all different um, sizes from um, Cheyenne. You get that box that I've just showed you, there's a box of six of them. And literally that just screws on there, just like the standard grip. And then you can dispose of it after the tattoo. So power cable clipped onto the machine. Got our clip cord bag there. Just drop the machine to the bottom of the bag. I'm making sure that that uh, bag is covering all the cable there. I will take grip tape. And some people can uh, cut this, but I find it just it just rips without the need to cut it, which I'll be showing you here. Just ripping a little bit of that off there. And then that's going to um, wrap to the bottom of the machine. Now, some people use loads of this stuff to make the grip really thick. Um, because it suits it suits them for when they use the machine they're like a really really thick um, grip but um, I prefer just the slimmer so it's just enough there to, to cover the bottom of the machine so next just zoomed in on the back of the workstation there that's the stencil prep which is electrum um, gold and the alcohol spray so now I'm going to put my needles out. These are Envy Gen 2 carts. Really, really cool cartridges if you want to check them out. I'll just give you a quick close up of that on the screen. Really, really cool cartridges. So I've got my needle set ready. Now I'm using just a standard disposable paper plate. Um, wooden spatula, Vaseline. That goes on the plate. And then I'll scoop a little bit across the side there. And that'll be for my ink cups to um, basically glue them down to stop them moving around on the plate. Otherwise they just, they just move everywhere. Then we've got our cups. I've got a rinse cup and I usually have two, uh, two cups, rinse cup and one for diluting the ink. Um, I've got wipes there. Just placing everything nice and neat on the workstation. So the next job will be to fill the ink up. Now, what I'm going to show you here is really, really important. Some people leave ink on the back there 
whilst the tattooing, I never, never do that. I always get rid of the ink, get rid of the alcohol and get rid of stencil prep because um, it's just, th th this workstation is gonna be get basically contaminated and you don't want any sort of contamination near your ink. So it's just a personal thing, but I don't ever have ink um, at the back of the workstation whilst I'm tattooing. So this will be ready to set up now. You can see I've just took the cartridge out, the packet, and that's the setup ready to go. Super clean, so now we're gonna do the breakdown. So the first thing to do with the breakdown is to get rid of the most high risk thing will be the needle. Get rid of that, that goes into the sharps bin, never into a, a standard bin. So the next thing we do would be to remove these gloves because these gloves will be absolutely filthy by now. We've done a tattoo, we'll probably blitz through quite a few pairs. Wash the hands and then got a new pair on. Then we're just going to dispose of the rinse cups and then we start taking off the grip tape get rid of the uh, clip the clip cord bag it just slides out there and because we use the disposable grip we can just remove that and that gets binned as well so these are great for conventions as well And then what we're going to do is, is just set the machine to one side uh, on, on another disposable plate. For now, remove the power pack bag. That all goes in the middle there. Then bottle wash bags, they're removed. And then again, the bottle wash goes to where the machine has just gone. And then literally all this is going to be wrapped up Nice and neat, being careful not to um, let the ink cups fall out everywhere and go all over the place making a mess. And that goes straight into the bin. Uh, this bin obviously is, is a special collection bin that gets disposed of in an incinerator, it's not just a standard bin. So this is the machine and the uh, wash bottle. So we're going to spray all this down. This I'm using is distill. Um, it just basically kills everything, every nasty. There's all there's, there's different brands of this stuff, but it's just the, the one I use. Um, so that gets placed to one side to let that kick in. Now I'm gonna completely cover the workstation, the power pack, I'm gonna get a really, really good spray. Usually leave this stuff on for about five minutes. I'm gonna clean down all the power cable there, even though the cable was bagged so the chances of anything being on it are quite slim anyway, but it's just extra precaution. That all gets cleaned down. And it looks like maybe kind of overkill doing all this, but believe me, it's not. It's, it's safe for you, it's safe for your clients. Uh, it's safe for your reputation. So that's had about five minutes on there, so we're just giving it a good wipe off now with some clean white roll. And again, all that will get thrown in that um, bin as well. All the other stuff just went into all down the back there. So we're getting all those corners, all the ridges of the table. And because this is steel, it, it's uh, it's just wiped clean. You know, it's it's nice uh, to keep clean, like just flat surfaces. Those gloves off into the bin. Then I've washed my hands. I've put another pair of clean gloves on. I'm going to bring back um, the machine and the wash bottle. And then we're just going to, that distill that we sprayed on it, we're going to give it a nice wipe off because obviously the machine, the actual machine can't go into an autoclave. Um, so this is how you clean down the machine. Good spray with your uh, disinfectant and then a nice wipe off. And same again for the wash bottle. If you noticed as well, I forgot to mention, but all the wipes that I used, even if I have wipes left over, um, so say I had like a stack of wipes left over off the tattoo and they've been not in this, this work area, they get binned as well. Everything gets binned from that workstation. So finally, we're coming to wash our hands again. Nice good scrub right up the arm there with the anti-back soap. Uh, clean them off, give them a nice dry. And then more hand sanitizer.
and then that's it that's everything done nice and clean nice and safe job done thank you so much for watching this video guys if you have liked it please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell that'll keep you up to date with all my latest uploads you'll be the first to see them don't forget to check out my other videos and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys